Jordan here with FlexiJet and I'm going to show you how we can draw an integrated sink using our FlexiJet Stone software which is the powerful yet easy to use software companion to the next generation FlexiJet 3D hardware. So I've pre-measured this cabinet box behind me and now I'm going to bring you inside the software and show you exactly what that looks like. So as you can see we've got our countertop area measured so I'm going to look on my countertop folder. I've drawn in the shape that I want my sink to be and now I'm going to go ahead and uh, create the structure of that sink here. So I'm just going to organize this all into a folder um, that I'm going to call my sink and then within that folder that's where I'm going to draw the individual elements. So the first one I'm going to do is the back wall of the sink here and I'm going to let it know that that's a, a vertical plane and we're going to go ahead and just set that plane based on that there. So looking at this here I'm going to draw the back of my sink based on exactly where that, uh, where that countertop actually is. So I'm going to go ahead and draw this um, through here and the back wall of my sink I'm going to have it drop down 8 inches and go ahead and show me that. So now I've got the back wall of my sink drafted in there. I'll click back to my 3D folder so you can see where that's coming together. So let's go ahead and draw in the front wall of the sink as well. So we'll just let it know we're going to draw in uh, the front wall of the sink and we'll go ahead and do that as a vertical plane as well. Again just clicking the two points to define that vertical plane there. So we'll go ahead and click uh, through here to match that as well and my depth on my front is only going to be uh, six inches deep. So we'll go ahead and insert that there. Again clicking back to just see exactly how that's coming along. Let's go ahead and draw on the left wall of the sink. Left wall. We'll just click through again to do that. So we'll click from there to there. And so I see where my sink has to be there. I'm going to go ahead and use my polyline command to draw this through. So one, two, three, four. And then I'm just going to ask it to close my polyline for me. And as you can see, I've drawn that side element of the sink there. Clicking back to my 3D folder, it's all coming together very, very nicely. Let's finish the final side here. So the right side of the sink and again we'll do that using a vertical plane and I'll go ahead and just grab those couple points on here to click that through and create that. Again I'm going to trace through that using my polyline command. One, two, three, four and my final point here I'll just type close to close that off so we can see that I've drawn my side of the sink there and if one more element of the sink to draw through and that of course is the sink bottom. So let's draw that in here using a free plane. We'll go ahead and just click the points to do that. So my first point, my second point, and my third point on the back there. So looking at this here I'm just going to go ahead and uh, draw this in using my rectangle command. We'll go ahead and grab that point, that point, and my third point will be on the front there as well just like that. So thanks so much for watching. Please contact us at 1-844-MY-FLEXI or sales at flexijet.info. We'd love to schedule an interactive online demo with you where you can not only control the FlexiJet but also see how our FlexiJet Stone software can help make measuring easy and accurate.